Um, welcome to um, this week's Assembly on Respect. Um, so firstly, what is respect? Respect is a word that originally um, means attention, consideration and regard. And what that means is it can be defined as feeling of value of greatness of an individual's quality or capacity and considered and considering how you then act um, to somebody else. So it's a really important component of relationships and personal identity. And it's one that I want to explore in today's assembly and make sure that we all understand here at Chertsey High School um, respect and how to be respectful within our Chertsey High School family. So why is respect important? Receiving respect from others because it helps us actually feel safe and express ourselves. Being respected by important people for our lives growing up teaches us how actually to show other people respect, but also how to live the life that we want to lead. Respect means also that you feel accepted by someone else. So if someone does an act of kindness um, or someone shows you respect, you're going to feel that you have a relationship with that person and it will make you feel a better person. Um, another thing is that um, it builds trust, safety, and it also um, increases our well-being. Um, so if you are with friends or family and you have respect, you are going to feel better, probably calmer, um, and it will, it will make the whole situ a lot, situation a lot better. So how do we show respect? And how do we show respect daily um, within Chertsey High School? So show people, show people what respect is by being respectful yourself. Are you saying the right things? Are you doing the right things? Are you doing the right things when people aren't watching? Spend time with people who are respectful and make you feel good. Give someone a chance to change their behaviour and towards you, because we all make mistakes at the end of the day. So if there is something that you think maybe um, someone's done wrong or you've done wrong, be respectful, say you're sorry. Um, listen and be present. There's a lot to be said about listening, that if someone is talking to you about something and you listen to them, you are actually showing them respect. Be polite and be thankful. And I think in the current situation we're going through, it's really important that we are thankful. It's almost like we're respecting the environment and the world that we live in. In my opinion, a lot of respect starts with self-respect. So the first thing I'm gonna say is we need to make sure that we, are, um, have, we have self-acceptance. Okay, so you get to know yourself and you understand yourself and appreciate yourself. That therefore means that if you're happy within yourself, you're going to be able to give more respect to others. Okay. Um, my next point is realism. Okay, so learn to handle criticism. Criticism, um, I don't think anyone really likes criticism, but sometimes it actually helps us become a better person. And if we're talking about a better person, that's a better way to become respectful. Um, focus. So focus is um, motivation that matters rather than actual results. Okay, so actually focusing on what's important and what's going to help you rather than help, help you or help someone else is really important. And then the last one is humility. Okay, so um, taking um, respect is not through praise but from others. Okay, and which you need to make sure that you are selfless um, and you are willing to give to others. So all of these ways will build self-respect. And then taking responsibility of you and your life um, will mean that you are a more respectful human. And that is, at the end of the day, what everyone should aim for. OK, um, what I would like to talk to you about is a couple of scenarios, because I think day to day we're not always sure on whether we are actually being respectful. Um, and it's not like we always get feedback on whether we are. So here's some questions for you to consider um, and have a look about how you are looking out for people and how you're being respectful. So when you're angry, do you get aggressive? Do you try to upset other people? Do you scream? Do you shout? Do you interrupt? What do you do when you're angry? Okay. When you saw, see someone fall over, do you laugh? Did you push them over? Do you call them stupid? And then finally, when you see someone you do not like, do you laugh? Do you call them names? Do you call them nasty things? Are you disrespectful? Are you aggressive to them? And all of those scenarios that I've just read out, they are disrespectful things to do. And I think what we need to make sure is we are all going to get angry. Um, we are all going to probably find that there are people we don't like. But it's controlling your manner to make sure that you are respectful. So for example, if you saw someone fall over, either go and help them 
or um, don't react to it. If you're cross, go and speak to someone about it or walk away from the situation. Do something that's going to make you a better human and also more respectful. So my lesson on respect for this week is treat others um, the way that you would like to be treated. And that is so important, so, so important. So make sure that this week you listen to people when they're speaking. You be honest, sincere and gentle. You believe a person is trying to do good things. Try and see the best in people because that's the best thing that we can do. Consider how their life is for the moment. Maybe there's somebody who isn't necessarily talking about everything or what's going on in their life. But if you show respect to them, that would actually probably really help them. And finally, forgive people for making mistakes. Like I said earlier, we all make mistakes and it's really important uh, that we respect that about each other. So in today's climate with our current pandemic, as we face difficult decisions with how to come out of lockdown, um, giving the opportunity, it gives us the opportunity to really focus on our relationships and our respect with people. Um, there'll also be a great deal of people at the moment who are feeling out of their comfort zone. And acting with love and kindness is going to help show respect towards one another. So we should be encouraged by this. And however difficult the situations are this week, if we act with love, kindness and respect, we will receive the same back in return. So where might um, you demonstrate respect this week? Where, do, where do, you, do, do you see respect in your life? And how can I help people or how can you help people um, during this week to show more respect? I hope you have a lovely week um, and you're all respectful and um, I will see you soon. I think we'll start, have to start with the song for that though. Arias Bahia City! Anyway, yeah, so now you know the song, let's talk about the theme. The theme of the week, obviously, as respect. put so uh, beautifully by our very own Miss Paul, is respect. Um, which I think is, is, isn't a word that necessarily comes up in the Bible a lot, or Gospels a lot, but it's certainly, there's like a massive undercurrent, isn't there? There is. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> An undercurrent. An undercurrent. I agree. Um, and I guess, like, the biggest thing about respect is... Um, is that it comes down to that sort of golden Christian rule of, of treat others as if you want to be treated. I love their guests, isn't it? Yeah. Um, particularly, and, and the classic example is, is the Good Samaritan um, and how he was, um, you know, the, the Jewish people and the Samaritans at the time didn't necessarily get on, but it's, it was the respect um, of the Good Samaritan to help that Jewish person, the respect for that, that human's mm. life, that human's family that, that he sort of took him in and, and cared for him and, and healed him. So whilst he didn't necessarily go, oh, you certainly had enough respect to, for him to, to, to look after him, I think it's a really good thing. And I think particularly for when, when our lot are out in the playground or whatever, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's unrealistic for everyone to get on yeah. and, and to well, like yeah. each other, but it's certainly, you can't be mess mates with everyone, yeah. but you can certainly, if, if, if Jewish people and Samaritans who historically have hated each other. I don't know, but I don't know. Anyone dismiss of all about respect? Well, yes. Um, there is obviously, I like the fact that you've just, just basically, obviously just respect people. It seems so simple yeah. That, that, yeah, we all want to, however well you know someone, you don't want someone to just treat you like a piece of rubbish, yeah. do you? Um, and if you always think of that, um, then if you always think of how you'd want to be treated in, in a situation, you're always going to come up with an answer of how to, of how to behave um, and to, how to not be a muppet. Yeah. And one of the best examples I like, though, because sometimes I think people are like, oh, respect, oh, let's have a cuddle, you know, like that. But, I, so stop trying to cuddle me, all right? <laughs> um, but, no, I, I like to think of it like in rugby um, or like heavy contact sports, boxing, things like that, you have, you've got two opponents who are yeah. absolutely going at it, um, trying to beat the other team, beat the other person. Um, but I just love it when I see people like be able to get hit hard um, in a tackle or whatever, um, and they're not offended by it. They're like, this is the game. Like, mm. we made this agreement. I want you to try and beat me. I'm going to try and beat you. We're going to have a game, and then we'll shake hands at the end. And we don't get people like, 
you know, get petty about it, mm. um, but they, they can have respect for their opponent, they can shake hands. Um, and I love that. I think that's, that's intense uh, respect um, and that is achievable. And obviously at school, that's one of the things we're working on. So you won't always get it right first time yeah. probably in PE. Some people find it easier than others. But I think that's really something um, that we look up to sportsmen like that, don't we? Yeah. Um, who can do that and women. Sports people. Yes. Sports people. Um, there was a really nice Bible reference, I've forgotten it, um, in Timothy, where it was like, if you don't respect members of your family, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing? again, I, we're paraphrasing, but like the, the quote was, I can't remember it off by, off by heart, it was like, if you don't respect people in your family, then, you, then you've got it completely wrong. And obviously at Chelsea High, we talk about the fact that, that we are all part of this family. Um, and it's like, if you just don't have that basic, like, good morning, hello, how are you, helping when someone's upset, or, or whatever it is to be a good person, if you're not showing them that respect, like, <laughs> what are you doing? Like, you, what? That's what we do here. And I think that, I think, is, is such a beautiful thing about this school, is actually that the respect that um, people have for each other, particularly with, like, the handshakes and things like that, which, I mean, hopefully, God willing, will be back soon. But I think it's just that we're all part of this family together. So why on earth, do you know what I mean? Like why on earth wouldn't show respect to people? It's, just, it's literally that simple, isn't it? So we'll leave it there. Thanks guys for watching. See you next week.